All right, we are here with our first Superior Health Wednesdays. Uh, Jim LaJoy, Executive Director with Superior Health Foundation on the call today. Uh, welcome, how are we doing? I'm doing great, Good. doing great. And today, uh, big announcement, a partnership with uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. You kind of want to walk us through what that is. Yeah, we're, uh, we're putting together a, uh, a grant initiative to address uh, children's mental health in the Upper Peninsula. And uh, this will be $100,000 in granting that we will be doing with the period opening up on uh, this Monday. Um, this is a collaboration that uh, we're working with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan Foundation. Uh, they're putting $50,000 into it and we're matching $50,000. And part of the reason we're doing this is with the pandemic, we've seen and heard a, a number of stories about what's happening with children's mental health. There's been a real uptick with depression, with anxiety. Um, and then you throw in the fact that a lot of these children um, have been forced to learn from home. So they have to, uh, they've had to abandon some of their social networks and their play groups and the people that they hang out with. So, there's a real need for this. We've looked at nationwide statistics, but more importantly, we've talked with a number of educators and a number of people um, across the UP who have indicated that uh, th this, is a real, this is a real trouble spot. And the fact is children are our future. So we wanna be in a position to offer some funding and uh, you know, play a role in, um, in, in helping curb this and giving our, our children a fighting chance. And let's talk about uh, just the the collaboration side of things like this is um, this is what you do this is uh, kind of your specialty you know but you're always open to new collaborations absolutely uh, good question um, you know one of the things that I, I think we're most proud about is over the over our evolution you know we've been at this for eight years is that we've really seen an uptick in the amount of organizations and collaborations. And, and that didn't come by accident. It came by working together, you know, being, have a lot of open communication and finding like-minded partners that share in our mission and vision to improve the health and well-being of people in the Upper Peninsula. So we're very fortunate in that we've established a terrific partnership and collaboration with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan Foundation you know, we talk regularly, at least two, three times a month. We talk about what are the issues going on in the UP, and they've really become a great partner and put some of their funding into the Upper Peninsula, um, you know, to work with us. You know, and there have been others, too. You know, we've worked very closely with the Michigan Health Endowment Fund. We've partnered with uh, Portage Health Foundation um, up in Hancock, the West End Health Foundation um, in uh, Ishpeming. Um, a number of community foundations across the UP, and really that kind of leveraging is important for us. I mean, we've never really wanted to do this alone, and when we can work together hand in hand with other like-minded partners to uh, tackle and solve health issues in the UP, it benefits everyone, so we're very proud of that. Yeah. And along with those, people might not be a part of an organization that might be able to partner with you, uh, but what can the average person in the community, how can they help support this initiative uh, in this specific instance of uh, youth mental health and in just your mission overall with Superior Health Foundation? Well, you know, our, our door is always open. You know, even in a pandemic, our door is open. Uh, might be not all the time, but we're here and we're willing to take phone calls or emails and listen to what the concerns are. And, you know, since we, we were putting this out, we kind of sprinkled it out there that we were gonna be doing this initiative. And we've heard from already a number of different folks about proposals that they wanna work on. So if people have ideas and ways that, um, that we can help with this, Love to hear from them if they have an idea, um, you know, so we can talk about it before they actually get, get going on the online application. And, um, you know, and people can really be invested in what we do. Go out to our website, superiorhealthfoundation.org. You can learn a lot about us and um, um, about the things that we're doing and play a role in, in, in some of the programs and uh, efforts that we fund. 
because you're not some far off agency that just has an office here. You live yeah. here. This is your home too. And it's been your mission to kind of help take care of that and be good stewards of the communities. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and one of the things, Ben, I think that is really, um, really been um, terrific is to see how we've evolved over the years. You know, as you said, we're based in Marquette, but we're a UPY foundation. Um, we, we stretch from, you know, Ironwood to Sault Ste. Marie from the Copper Country down to Menominee and all parts in between. One of the big things that we, we take great solace is, is, is reaching out and working with those communities, find out what their needs are. And during the pandemic, we haven't been able to travel. You know, we've done a lot of Zoom meetings and a lot of telephone conversations. But what our thing is about listening to what the needs are and finding solutions. Um, you know, we have funded a number of different projects over the years, every, everything from, you know, mini grants, pilot project grants, equipment uh, fund grants, and then our spring and fall grants. And our, our thing is to be able to work uh, together and find ways that, that we, can, we can provide funding. I mean, it sound, it's a great mission. It sounds like you've got a lot of good things coming. So we want to make sure to let people know as much as possible. Uh, is there anything that we haven't talked about related to this or anything else that you want to make mention in this, uh, in this is instance? Yeah, just basically that those organizations, whether they be nonprofits, uh, organizations in UP, or even school districts, which fall under the nonprofit umbrella, um, if you're interested in applying for funding, it'll be up on our, on our website at superiorhealthfoundation.org. All the information will be there, and it's a pretty simple online application form that won't take a um, heck of a lot of time. So we'll be looking for one- and two-year projects and again, we'll be awarding uh, up to $100,000 for this initiative. Good. Well, uh, and we'll have that link uh, just below in this article that we're publishing with the video as well. So uh, Jim LaJoy, Executive Director with Superior Health Foundation on a Superior Health Wednesday. Thank you.